Hey, my friends, this video, unplanned by me, it was probably planned by God. It's a twofold video. It is one rebelling against Satan and one standing up for and sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ. I have been battling Satan all night, y'all. I'm talking about seriously battling Satan all night. He almost won. He almost won. He has afflicted me to the point I cannot stand up. I cannot walk. And I am upset. I am angry with Satan. I do not understand God at times, but I love God. I totally trust God. God is my Father, my Heavenly Father, Jesus, and I are joint heirs of the throne together. God has adopted me. I am a son of God, just like Jesus is a son of God. I am not compared, do not even compare me to Jesus, but we both are sons of God. I am adopted. I am an adopted son of God. And you, friend, if you are a true Christian, you are an adopted daughter or son of God. Don't ever forget that. And with God as our father, natural or adopted. We have the right to refuse the attacks by Satan. And we must do that. I did it all night. I'm still doing it. And I needed to do this video to get it public that I am rebuking Satan in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, who died for the sins of the world. There's an old preacher, and I can't remember which one of them, if it was Tozer or Pink or Spurgeon, I can't remember which one. It was one of the old preachers. Somebody asked him, why are you always telling people you must be born again? And he replied, he said, because ye must be born again. There's not a better message than that, y'all. Ye must be born again. And if you are born again, you're going to have eternity, which never has an end, in heaven with God, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, And that's where I'm headed, and I hope I'm headed there soon. I am so tired of this filthy, polluted planet Earth. And I'm not talking about pollution like in the water and in the soil. I'm talking about pollution from sin. I'd, people of God hates sin, and it's everywhere. It's being promoted on TV. They're paying millions and millions of dollars to pr promote it. Throwing it in our face. I am so going to be so glad to get out of here, y'all. This is not my home. This is not my home. But as long as God sees fit for me to be here, I am going to boldly share the gospel of Jesus, who is the Christ. And if this is something you don't want to hear, then flip on out and go somewhere else. But that's what you're going to hear at this channel. Jesus is the Son of Christ. Jesus is the Savior, the Lord, the Redeemer. You, whether you like it or not, you need Jesus more than you need water and air. And that's what I share here. 
and Satan, you are defeated. The cross defeated you. You're crushed. You're nothing. You're nobody, Satan. You are nobody. A big N right on your forehead. Nobody. Jesus has the keys to hell. You're going to get locked in there forever before long. And I will rejoice. I will rejoice the day that happens. I do not understand so much that happens in the world. Why is Jesus even giving you reign of it right now? I do not know. But I am not Jesus. I, I wouldn't give you an inch. I would kick your butt plumb up between your shoulders all the way to hell and lock the door and don't ever let you out. But I am not God. I am not Jesus. I don't understand why they put up with you. I don't put up with you. I don't put up with you at all. I rebuked you all night. You, you tore me up last night. I don't like you at all. Friends, pray for those under attack by Satan. And, and, and there are many, anybody who tries to do the work of Jesus Christ, as we're commanded to do, is going to get attacked. Y'all, I cannot stand, I cannot walk today. I can sit on the seat of my walker and scoot around to where I need to go, and that's and I can barely do that. My pain level on a pain scale of 1 to 10, where 10 is so bad you need to go to the emergency room, my pain level right now is about a 48 and a half, maybe a 48.7. I took a hydrocodone pain pill, and my pain level just laughed and laughed and laughed. So I went and dug through my old medicines that I don't take anymore. I found some morphine tablets from two years ago, and I took one of those. It's not starting to work yet, but I hope and I pray it does. I, I got to get some relief. And going to the emergency room, they would give me a shot of morphine or a shot of fentanyl or a shot of each and drive me home. And it would help for an hour or two, and then it would be right back. I know, because I've been there several times lately, They talk about how good fentanyl is. Fentanyl ain't nothing. It doesn't. And my pain laughs at it too. It helps for about 20 or 30 minutes. And then it's right back. So it doesn't do any good to go to the emergency room. You know, you pay thousands of dollars for a couple of hours there and doesn't do any good. Doesn't last long at all. And I'm hurt. I'm rubbing myself. I hurt so bad. But I, enough of that rambling. Let me read what I came here to read. And y'all know these verses. I read them all the time. And I'm going to read them again. And I want everybody to listen. And what I want is not for me. Because I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I hadn't been a child of God long. Satan thought he had me. 50-year-old man, 51-year-old man. On my way to hell. Burning up the highway like I was anxious to get there. Loving the sins of the world. Wallowing in my sins and loving it. God got a hold of me. 
He broke my neck in three places. He broke my lumbar spine. He broke a bunch of other bones in my body. He said, no, Bubba, you're not going to hell. You're going to heaven. He saved my soul. Satan's been fighting with me ever since. He's not going to get me back. My past is my past, Satan. I am not going back there. I liked it. I loved it. It was fun, fun, fun. But I'm not going back there. You know what bait I like. You dangle that bait in front of me all the time, but I'm not biting. I belong to the Lord Jesus Christ now. I am a child of the Most High King, and I'll be his child for all eternity, so you might as well just give it up, Satan. You know, from the 23 years I've been a Christian, I'm not going back. If I was going back, I would have already went back. I'm not going back. Just give up on me and go bug somebody else. Friends. If you're not where I'm at, you need to be here. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, that's where I'm at, right there. I'm going to read you verses 1 through 4. And y'all open the ears. Open the ears to your heart. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel. The gospel means good news, and he's talking about the good news of Jesus Christ, Jesus who is the Christ. Christ means Messiah, Jesus who is the Messiah. That is, this is the good news of Jesus who is the Messiah, which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved. And he's not talking about saved for a minute or two or an hour or two or a day or two. He's talking about saved for all eternity. For all eternity. You cannot lose your salvation. And if anybody tells you you can lose your salvation, they do not know the strength and the power of Jesus Christ who died for your sins. You cannot lose your salvation once you truly have it. If you think you've lost it, you probably never had it in the first place. Because once you truly, honest to God, have it, you cannot lose it. God is not an Indian taker, Indian giver. He's not going to give you something and then take it back. Once you got it, you got it for all eternity. Uh, th those preachers and teachers that teach us that, they don't know what they're talking about, so don't even listen to them by which you are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried. When somebody dies, you bury them. Christ died he was buried and that he arose again that is something you and I don't do that is something we are going to do at the end times when Christ calls us out of the graves we're going to come unburied y'all we're going to come flying out of the graves and go home with him but for now your friends and family that's dead they're buried somewhere or they're body was burned up and their ashes strewn about wherever they wanted to get strewn about. In the end times, those ashes are going to be gathered together by Christ and the bodies that are buried, they're going to be yanked up out of the grave by Christ and we're going to be given new, brand spanking new glorified bodies to enjoy through all eternity in heaven. Bodies that don't have pain, bodies that don't ever get sick, bodies that don't ever stump the toe on the foot of the bed. Pain-free, illness-free bodies, strong, strong bodies, beautiful bodies for all eternity. 
that he was buried and that he arose again a third day according to the scriptures and that he was seen of Cephas then the twelve. Jesus died, he arose, we're going to arise also. I just gave you the gospel of Jesus Christ. Did you catch it? The gospel of Jesus Christ is that he died for the sins of the world, but he did not stay dead. He arose from the dead. He was brutally murdered. His body shed blood all over that cross. It ran down his arms, down his chest, down his stomach, down his waist, down his legs, down his feet, dripped off of his toes to the ground. That blood was shed for you and for me, friends. He didn't have to do that. He did it because he loves us and because it took a sacrifice, a blood sacrifice, for us to be redeemed from our sins. Jesus willfully went to the cross and died for us. There's nothing you can do to save yourself. All you got to do to be saved for all eternity and to enjoy that new glorified body I'm talking about is to believe on what Jesus did. And I just read you in God's holy word what Jesus did. You know the story, whether you're a Christian or not. You know that Jesus died on the cross. A horrible, cruel, painful, painful, painful death. And you know that he didn't stay dead, that he arose from the dead and he is alive today. And soon, very, very soon, he's coming back for the true believers, me and you if you're one of them. And he's going to take us home to heaven where we'll be for all eternity, or we'll be with him for all eternity. He's going to take us on a trip or two after that, but we'll be with him for all eternity. Now, let me flip back to Acts and tell you the only thing that you got to do, and I can't remember where it's at. Acts somewhere in Acts. I'll find it. Just be patient with me. Acts 16, 31. And I'll put all these. Well, these scripture are written in the description box below every long video I make. So they're there already. But I share Jesus. I want everybody that comes to my channel to know Jesus. And so in every long video I make, these scriptures are in there. This is the plan of salvation, how you get salvation, how you get saved for all eternity. Jesus did all the work. That's all done. All you got to do is believe. Right here, Acts 16, 31. They said, believe. Well, let me read. go back to verse 30. I'll read 30 and 31. He said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? And in verse 31, he said, They said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Bam, y'all. That's it. End of story. He said, Sir, what must I do to be saved? And he said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I told you what Jesus did, and that's all that had to be done. All you got to do now is believe in what he did. It cannot get any easier than that. So Satan, I kick you in the butt. I kick your butt up between your shoulders. You are a loser. You are condemned to hell for all eternity. Jesus Christ is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He has control over you. And he's letting you play around with people right now. 
but before long, he's going to take control of your butt, and you're going to be doomed to hell, locked into hell for all eternity, where you can never, ever bother us again. Hallelujah, and praise God for that day. Friends, if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ right now, today, is the day of your salvation. Time is running out rapidly. You can see this stuff going on in the world. You can see Satan running around controlling the world like it is his. And for a short time, it is his. But Jesus is letting him do that. Jesus has overall control. When Jesus says, all right, Bubba, your time is up, then his time is up. Jesus has control. He's letting all of you fools out there run around and play like idiots on the highway to hell. And if you don't believe in what Jesus did to save you from that foolishness, if you don't put all your faith and trust in Jesus and turn to him and follow him, then you're going to spend all eternity with Satan in hell. I pray that you're not stupid enough to take that route. And you need to get off that route right now. Because time is running out. You don't know, you don't know when your clock is going to get punched. Nobody does. But it's getting closer and closer by each breath you take. So stop the foolishness. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no works for you to do. Jesus did all the works. There's no works you could have done to save yourself. It took the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords doing the work for you, and he did voluntarily because he loves you, because he wants you in heaven for all eternity. All you got to do is believe in what he already did. Believe, my friend, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. And aren't you glad I'm not a preacher? Just imagine what I'd be like if I was a preacher. Goodness gracious alive, y'all. I'm not a preacher, but I preach better than a lot of preachers do. And I'm not a preacher. I'm just old, bald-headed redneck, saved by grace at an old age. And I boldly share the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ with the world. I thank God for YouTube and for the worldwide ministry that God has given me through YouTube. I've got friends literally from all over the world that watches my videos, and I thank God for every one of you. All right, y'all, that's that for now. I started to come on here and tell you I wouldn't be on here today. But the more Satan ticks me off, the more I want to be on here. So, I, y'all, I am seriously in pain. I cannot do anything. I was planning on cooking more fudge today. I can't. I cannot do a thing today. So I may be on here because I, I can do this sitting down. I hurt. Y'all pray for me. But most of all, pray for the lost people of the world. Invite them to come to this channel. I don't sugarcoat anything here. And what the world needs to hear is the truth that is not sugarcoated. God bless you, dear friends.